Let's morph him. And indeed, it is morphin' time. Just got word of the new Power Rangers series for 2019. Just announced a couple of days ago. Uh, once again, I like to sit on these uh, news stories for at least a couple to a few days. That way, I'm not giving out any false information. Um, I have done that in the past, and I've corrected myself. But uh, I'm going to start sitting on the stories for a couple of days. That way, um, I can continue to watch them, uh, see any uh, any updates, and see if it's just a false news story, whatever have you. But this seems pretty legit. Uh, Saban's brand new Power Rangers series uh, for 2019, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Now, if anybody recognizes this or this... You know I'm referring to GoBusters. And you say, GoBusters? Wait, what? That series came out in Japan in 2012. Six years ago. Why is Saban just now doing it? Well, I think it's because of the overwhelming request for it. <laughs> I mean... GoBusters is a special series. A special series for lots and lots and lots of reasons. It's one of my favorite series, probably my second favorite series, next to Zyuden Sentai Kyoyujir. Um, if I had a third favorite series, it'd probably be uh, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Not Abba Ranger from Japan. That was a good series, but I, Dino Thunder, I actually thought was done better here in America. Um, mainly because uh, the story was better, um, the way they fleshed out the villains was a little bit better, and... It wasn't as childish, I guess is what I is what I could say. But anyway, um, Go Busters is a great, great series. Um, from what I read in the news article is that uh, they're going to keep the spy theme for the Go Busters, for the Rangers. And it says that it features uh, never-before-seen all-leather suits. Well... I have a Gold Ranger, a Beat Buster, Go Buster cosplay, um, and it's not all leather. It's not all leather. I mean, I made most of it myself. Um, it's, but it, yeah, it's synthetic leather and vinyl uh, for the most part. And uh, while wearing it, these, uh, these suits to a convention, I can tell you uh, they get warm. They get pretty toasty because uh, there's uh, no material that breathes, like, at all. You're just, uh, you're just walking around in your own sweat. Um, but uh, but is worth it because the uh, the suits are amazing to look at. Um, but uh, I am so ecstatic that they that Saban is actually deciding to do Go Busters. It's the first time that he's ever gone backwards. He's been skipping series for a while now. Um, it all seemed to start with Go Busters. It seemed like that was the first series he skipped. Um, after coming back uh, from his hiatus and did Power Rangers Samurai, um, then Megaforce and Super Megaforce, he skipped right over Go Busters, which was supposed to come after Super Megaforce or Kaizo Kusentai Go Kaiger in Japan. Um, he skipped over Go Busters and went straight to Zyuden Sentai Kyoyujir, which we called Dino Charge. Um, after Dino Charge was over, he skipped another series. Um, he skipped Resha Sentai Tokyujir, um, which was a train-based series. Um, it was all trains, engines. Um, uh, another, another favorite Japan series of mine uh, for lots of reasons. Um, I'm still working on my uh, Toki number 6 Orange Ranger cosplay, uh, but that's neither here or there right now. Um, and then after Tokyujir, uh, after he skipped Tokyujir, he went straight to Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja, which we are calling Ninja Steel. Um, now, Super Ninja Steel. Um, and there's nothing super about it. But to my surprise, for a while there, I was expecting after Ninja Steel was through, that he was going to once again skip um, last year's Sentai series, which was um, Zuoger which was another animal-based series. And which, 
it looks like he is still skipping this series, at least for right now. But I figured it would be Ninja Steel, skip Zu Oger, and then go straight to Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. Um, but it seems like that's not the case. Um, he may be sitting on Q Ranger for a little while. Uh, maybe till all the buzz dies down in Japan, because I have a feeling that uh, that Bandai of Japan and uh, Toei, they're going to be making money off of uh, Uchu Sentai Q Ranger for at least another good couple of years because of movie specials, uh, crossovers. Um, their toy line is still doing amazing right now in Japan for Q Ranger. So um, maybe that would be a good reason why Saban is deciding to skip now not only Zu Oger, but Q Ranger as well. He wants those uh, those series to die down a little bit in Japan, let everyone um, forget about it for a little while, and then he'll maybe, after he's done with his now his, his newly announced series of Beast Morphers, which is an adaptation of Go Busters, um, Tokume Sentai Go Busters, which is the full, uh, the full title of the series, um, Maybe after he's done with that in the next couple of years, maybe by 2020 or 2021, we'll have an adaptation of either Zoo Oger or Kiyu Ranger. I want Kiyu Ranger. Um, I think Zoo Oger is a good series, but it's going to be hard to adapt that here to uh, America, or at least, or at least it would be seemingly hard to. Um, I'll get into that that whole thing later on, but. I just wanted to come on uh, camera for you guys real quick and let you guys know that I'm excited and it's, this looks legit. It looks like it's for real. Because um, uh, ever since he skipped Go Busters um, back in 2012 or 2013, um, when it was around time for him to do an adaptation for it, it just didn't happen. And he announced Dino Charge instead. And it made so many people angry, including myself. Now... I really, really hope he does this series justice. I don't want him screwing this up at all. Like I said, it's my second favorite series of all. Out of all 41, yeah, you heard me, 41 Super Sentai series, Tokume Sentai Go Busters is my second favorite. I don't want him messing this up at all. So I want all of you to let me know what you guys think as well. Uh, leave me some comments in the section below. Let me know what you guys think of this. Are you excited for it? Are you not excited for it? Do you think he waited too long to do an adaptation of Go Busters? Is it even relevant anymore? To me, I would say yes, because I still watch Go Busters at least... I'll, I'll watch the entire series at least once a year, and I have since it came out on DVD in 2013. So... Um, so for the last four years, uh, five years now, I've been watching Go Busters, the entire series, all of the movie specials, at least once a year. Um, that's how good it is. And I have um, pretty much all of the essential collectibles from Tokume Sentai Go Busters, including my Beat Buster Gold Ranger cosplay. Um, I want Saban to do it justice. I want him to keep the character arcs the same like literally the same but i know saban a lot of you all know saban he probably won't keep it the same i'm interested to see what he's going to do with the villains considering the majority of the series they were fighting the rangers were fighting just two or three different villains they they just could not defeat i'm i'm referring to enter escape um, and, uh, and obviously their master, which, uh, kept taking various different forms. But, um, in this series, again, it's a spy themed series and they are supposed to be defending, it's, it's set in the future and they're supposed to be defending, um, their city from a virus that is not only affecting, um, all of the technology in the city, but is also threatening to corrupt the morphing grid itself. So they're actually bringing the morphing grid back into um, back into play, which I thought was basically originally thought was destroyed back in Power Rangers in Space when Andros uh, 
destroy Zordon. I mean, I figure Zordon's gone. The entire morphing grid is gone. But then, of course, we had more Ranger series after that, after that, after that. And none of those Ranger series even mentions the morphing grid until um, until 2006, uh, 2007, when uh, Saban adapted, or rather it was Disney at the time, adapted uh, Bokenger into Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. And uh, anyone who's seen Operation Overdrive, you know that they had a lot of cameos from past Rangers come back. There was the uh, Once a Ranger, Always a Ranger um, two-parter, where we saw, you know, Adam from Mighty Morphin and, and Kira from Dino Thunder and uh, Xander from Mystic Force and and a few others, as, uh, as well as uh, a new Alpha robot. But they mentioned the Morphin Grid a lot in Operation Overdrive, but again, um, not until then and not since then have they mentioned the Morphin Grid until now uh, for this new GoBuster adaptation that he is dubbing Beast Morphers. I'm not too keen about the title, uh, Beast Morphers, but it's whatever. I guess I've heard of worse names. Um, so let's see, guys. Let's definitely see. Cross our fingers. Cross our toes. Cross everything we can without it being painful. You don't want to. You don't want to tie nothing private in a knot or anything like that. So, because um, that would just be painful. But uh, it wouldn't be nearly as painful as watching a series that was badly adapted and uh, and just sucks. So uh, we want this to be good, Saban. So again, um, anyone who uh, <clears throat> anyone who works for Saban with Saban has contacts with any of his contacts, um, get this to him, or at least higher-ups um, in Saban Brands, <laughs> let them know that people are excited, like, really, really excited for this. But we don't want it to be ruined. Like, unfortunately, he's ruined several series here recently. Um, and mainly, I'm talking about Ninja Steel and Super Mega Force. Those were his so far. I don't even, I don't even, I just want to pretend those two series don't even exist at this point. But unfortunately, Ninja Steel or Super Ninja Steel is still airing and we have the rest of this year uh, for it to play out and see what he's going to do with it. Who knows? Maybe it'll get better, but I doubt it. But I've got my eyes set on 2019 with Power Rangers Beast Morphers and uh, I can't. Wait, I am so excited. Once again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys all know the deal. Thanks for watching. Later.